Today, I'm going to talk about questions. There are two basic types of questions. One of them is polar questions, which are questions that elicit a yes-no answer, like, are you hungry? And then there are content questions that elicit more information. So if I ask, why are you hungry? There can be many different reasons. I didn't have a lunch, I didn't have dinner, um, I'm just that way. But you're getting more content than a yes or a no. And uh, there are various words that we use in English to uh, ask content questions. They're generally the WH uh, words. Who, how, why, what, when, and where. Now, how starts with an H, but it's also a content question. Let's just look at various uh, questions we can get. So let's say that uh, you're at a concert and you want to start a conversation and you say, do you like this concert? That's a polar question, a yes-no one. You're likely to get uh, yes or no, but if you want the conversation to go further, then you ask a content question like, why do you like this concert? Why did you come to this concert? Um, or even why do you like this band? You can ask, uh, how is it that you discovered that this uh, band is one that you like? And um, so consequently, you can uh, get the person to talk more about that. But it always depends on the situation. Because sometimes if uh, you say, how did you get to the concert? Well, by car. Well, why did you use a car? Because I don't have an airplane. So, content questions can open the conversation up. But, you have to also, like, follow through with something where the other person has to answer with more than one word. For example, what do you like about this band? I like the beat. I like that. When did you first hear of this band? And using content questions, you can get a conversation going. Now, if someone doesn't want to talk to you, they're still going to be real curt with their answers. Well, that's a hint. Go to talk to somebody else. But what happens when you ask a person a content question Then you get more information you can ask more questions about. For example, if you ask somebody, uh, what kind of games did you play when you were a kid? Well, then they, well, nowadays they'd say video games. When I was a kid, it was kick the can, hide and seek, and there were other ones, not that I'm going to go through a litany of them. But then, you ask somebody, well, uh, do you, um, who were the friends that you played with? And they named their friends, right? And so you can go on, and it's not always exactly a content question after that, uh, but, well, who, your, who were your friends? And what did you think about them? And so you can continue on in a conversation because a person, if they want a conversation, you keep giving them more reasons to talk. So if they say, oh, my friend was Jason, um, it's like, well, how long were you friends? Do you still know each other? That's a yes-no question. But it opens up to where you can sit there and ask more and more questions because if you ask content questions, you get information beyond a simple yes or no. Yes, I like this concert. Whereas, 
What do you like about this band? Well, it could be everything from the beat to they just make me feel good. Why do they make you feel good? Another content question. You just keep going on with content questions and you can get the information. So, in summary, there's two types of questions. There's polar questions that get a yes-no response and there's content questions. And you get more content by asking who, how, why, what, when, where, and uh, then you expand on the answer you got with more content questions. And sometimes people will go off quite a lot. You ask them about their childhood, and if they suddenly have a really fun memory, they'll tell you about it. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're uh, asking questions, and remember that uh, polar questions restrict you. Content questions free up the conversation.